What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is your host with the most here, Optimize. Welcome back to The Great POTUS. And today I'm going to bring you guys five words that you never knew were abbreviations. So these are everyday words that people use all the time that people don't realize are actually shorter versions of bigger words or multiple words. So these are going to be five very commonly used words. And so I'm just going to jump right into it. Also, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down how many of these you guys got right or what were your crazy ideas of what these could have been short for. So first off, we have emoticon. Now, emoticon is a very popular word. Everyone uses it. We shorten it with emoji, but emoticon itself is actually short for another word. Can you figure out what it is? Well, the answer is very simple. It is short for emotive or emotion icon. So emotion icon or emotive icon is what it is short for. Up next, we have the word taxi cab, or people just refer to it as taxi. It's really weird how we have these words that are abbreviations and we're already making abbreviations out of abbreviations. But this next word is taxi cab, and can you figure out what this is short for? Alrighty, time is up, and taxi cab is short for taxi meter cabriolet. So you guys probably never didn't get that cabriolet part, but yeah, taxi cab is short for taxi meter cabriolet. Now, next is the third word. Now, apparently this next word is a word that exists because I've never heard it ever been used, but I guess somewhere around the world people use it. So this next word is chortle. So can you guess what chortle stands for? Alrighty, time is up and chortle stands for chuckle and snort. So if you chuckle and snort at the same time, that means you have chortled. Alrighty, on to word number four. Alrighty, word number four should be a pretty easy one. I think everyone should know what this is. If you get this wrong, I don't know, I guess the, the term must not be familiar to you, which is weird because the term is heard everywhere. So it is smog. So can you guess what smog is an abbreviation for? Alrighty, so smog is actually the combination of the word smoke and the word fog. So smoke and fog come together to make the word smog. Now, that is the very easy one to have for you. Now we have the hardest one on this entire list. Alrighty, so the hardest one on this entire list goes to number five, which would have to be Velcro. I didn't even know this one at all. Like, I knew the other ones had to be short for something, but for Velcro, I just could not think of it. So, five seconds on the clock. What is Velcro an abbreviation for? Alrighty, so Velcro is an abbreviation for Velvet Crochet. So, yeah, there's one you wouldn't have guessed in a million years, and if you guessed it, you Google it. Don't lie. So thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay on the lookout for more videos because, ladies and gentlemen, the great POTUS is back. And it is back with a punch because it's not just me. The original owner of the channel, David, is still part of this channel. And he and I are working together to make this channel better than it originally was. So do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.